All right, turning to some business news today, a baby company known for its super soft sleepers is facing a rough reaction online after it reportedly fired a new mom who requested to work remotely so she could stay in the neonatal ICU with her adopted baby who was born at just 22 weeks. I will never give Kai Baby another dime of my money and I would encourage you to do the same. These are the people we're supporting. Kite brought this on to themselves after treating their employees so bad. All right, so we are obviously talking about the brand Kite Baby. You can see one mom even taking her child's pajamas and throwing them out into the snow. Now, the mom's story that we just heard there went viral on TikTok, but the situation for the company then took a turn for the worse when the CEO posted this apology to the employee on TikTok. I wanted to hop on here to sincerely apologize to Marissa for how her parental leave was communicated and handled. It was my oversight that she didn't feel supported as we always have intended. I will be reviewing our HR policy and procedures to make sure to avoid hurting our staff and our community in the future. All right, let's bring in CNN's Camilla Bernal, who's following the story for us. So, Camilla, uh, a lot of people called that response that we just heard there uh, canned. It's been called overly scripted. And then the CEO issued a second apology. So what's the reaction been like to these to these new apologies from the new mom at the center of this controversy? What more do we know about that? Overall, people are just not happy with the situation and with the response from the CEO. And she was essentially forced to publish that second apology video on TikTok because, as you mentioned, a lot of people just saying, look, it sounds scripted. It sounds like you're not being genuine. And then on her second video, she then admitted it and said, yes, it was scripted. And that's why she went off script that second time and apologized again and said that she regretted having uh, told Marissa Hughes that she was not allowed to work remotely. Take a listen to the second apology video. This was a terrible decision. I was insensitive, selfish. I cannot imagine the stress she had to go through. I fully realized the um, impact of my action, my decision, my short-sightedness. So here's the backstory. This all started in December when Marissa Hughes and her partner decided to adopt a baby that was born prematurely. When that baby was born prematurely, um, it was put in the NICU, and so she had to be there with her baby. Now, company policy is for a person like Marissa, who had not been with the company for at least a year, she only got two weeks of maternity leave. And after that maternity leave, she was asked to sign a contract saying that she would work at least six months minimum after her leave, and she was unable able to sign that contract because her baby was still in the NICU. And so uh, the company released a statement saying that, yes, they told her that she could not work remotely and also said that essentially her job was still there. This is obviously after the fact, after the criticism. Uh, they said initially they did not think her job was something that she could do remotely, but that now they're still offering her her job. She posted a video on social media. You see it right there on your screen. That's Marissa. And she said, she acknowledged the apology, but said she didn't think she could return to work and then also said she was encouraged by the changes that are happening in the company because now the company says they're revising their policy. And so that is, of course, something that a lot of people say is good and they're welcoming that decision. But there's still so much criticism on social media for them being a baby company that then did not allow her to be with the baby when he was in the NICU. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really interesting story there. Uh, Camilla Bernal, live for us in Los Angeles. Camilla, thank you.